take a look at the tail of the tape. It is Jordan Rinaldi at 27, 5'10". Now you see his weight, 171, excuse me, his reach. So he is having five inch reach advantage on that. The Russian born Abanakov, 25, 5'7", and a 66 inch reach. This one in the featherweight division. And we are set to go. With that, we check in with Jazz Securo inside the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by Pro Subs. We're scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Featherweight Division. And now, introducing on my right, fighting out of the blue corner of the Decagon. His record, four wins, three defeats. Standing five feet, seven inches tall. He weighed in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Nalchik, Russia. Introducing Sous Abonico! And now his opponent across the deck gone, fighting out of the red corner. His record, eight victories, four defeats, standing five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing 146 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Charlotte, North Carolina, presenting Jordan Rinaldi. In Russia. Your referee for this fight is Mark Smith. Smith. So Mark Smith gets the call for this one in the featherweight division. Rinaldi and Abanikov. And this one will be very interesting as the so lovely Emily Miller gets us started here. Planet Hollywood Hotel, Casino, and Resort on a beautiful right, Jordan, afternoon ready? here so in the desert. All right, first round. Fight's on. Here we go. We're underway in the featherweight division. This one's scheduled for three. Boy, boss, you look at these guys, and I'm thinking, man, how did these guys weigh in at 146? They both, they both look a lot heavier than that. We talk about cutting weight, obviously, to make your featherweight division. Realistically, what do you think these guys are fighting at if they stepped up the scales yesterday at 146? Where do you think they're at right now? Keep it clean. All right, it's 170. You think they got up that much? Oh, a lot of guys come up. Uh, uh, well, 70, 160 for sure. At least another 10, 12 pounds. Yeah. I always mention this. A broadcast, Chris Horodesky was 26 yeah, pounds was heavier the next day. 26 pounds. I mean. But you see what I mean with the Bonnikov? Yeah. He's, he's got very strong kicks and punches. Ooh, wow. Look at this, how powerful he is. Bonnikov takes the kick to the side and just throws Rinaldi to the ground, but he can't connect. And now it's Rinaldi on the scramble. Nice job of staying out of that guard. This is it. He simply has to cross face his opponent now, and that will make him uh, let go of that guillotine that he still has, but can't do anything with it. Cut in the right corner of the eye of Abanikov. Not sure exactly where that came. Obviously, and two fighters came together. And you see Rinaldi, he's, he's well trained on his defense because he is trying to slide to his left. He's putting his left shoulder in the throat of Abanikov, and he's going to try to choke him like that. We see this before. He needs to pull yeah, it up a little bit. Oh, nice reversal almost. But you see, he didn't give up position. That's what I'm talking about. If you train with a guy like Sergio uh -oh. Pena. Beautiful. Almost got reversed. And Rinaldi has taken the back of Abanikov. So Abanikov having the dominant position just 20 seconds ago, and now he finds himself in a little bit of trouble. You know, against a submission specialist like Rinaldi, yes. Constantly fishing. Constantly fishing for something. That's it. He needs one little moment now. Already has the body triangle out, the foot is under there, the left foot is under the knee of his opponent. It's going to be very hard to rotate inside that guard. Normally it's a normal guard, but inside this triangle hold, body lock, whatever you want to call it. Now if somebody has really long legs, some fighters still can do it, rotate in the body triangle. But I don't see this happening here. He's got the hips locked. So he can take his time. Four now, guys. It's just annoying him right now. Body shots, body shots, and hopefully he's going to make a mistake, and then suddenly he slips a rear naked choke on. Well, Bonikov right now trying to limit the damage and score some points of his own. Or, or he might go for even a straight armbar here. You know? 
with the right hand, going to push the head down, and then suddenly throw the right leg all the way under the body, pull it out, and throw it over. You see this a few times too. Let's see if he uh, if he surprises us with it. Would be great. Good control here by Rinaldi. Let's go. Both guys stay busy. Let's work. There we go for the rear naked. But it's not under good defense by Abanikov. Mark Smith constantly warning our fighters. Now he has the authority to stand them up if they are not improving their position. As we approach 115 to go here in round number one, this one's scheduled for three. Oh, I thought he's opening up. He might go for that armbar, what I said. No. Let's see. If he does go for it, it's going to be on the left arm. There you go. Look at that. And the boss knows in case there was enough sweat building up on both the men that he was able to slip away. But you see, again, you know, Rinaldi always takes the position over the submission. He thinks he has something, but he gets reversed, he lets go of it, and he keeps the position. And this might sound logic, and it should sound logic, but a lot of guys don't do that. Both men staying active now on the ground as we approach 30 Souls, seconds to go. Back to the head, Oh, I see Ronaldo posturing up there. Shots to the back of the head. Yeah, he needs distance in order to strike harder. Your Mark Smith warning Abanikov the shots to the back of the head, and I think it's not intentional. It's obviously the position he's in. He's just trying Keep to throw some punches. Over there, Sos. Back here in the featherweight division on the undercard, Jordan Rinaldi, Soslan Abanakov. Interesting first round, boss, as Abanakov was taken down kind of early, and Rinaldi, though, very methodically keeping the position in his favor. Yeah, round number one went to Rinaldi. It had to. And our Joey Varner seems to be everywhere these days. He was in the corner of Jordan Rinaldi. What'd you hear, Joey? Thanks, Todd. You know what? Rinaldi's corner was very pleased with this performance. They said you're doing everything right, both on the feet, on the ground. What they want to see, though, is him staying concise and precise with his strikes. Don't get sloppy. When he gets sloppy, that's when he gets scored on. But when he's composed, he can pick him apart on the feet and take him down at will. That's it. Yeah, use the reach advantage he has, the four inch, which is two inch on each side, I guess. Beautiful again, take down right in the side mount, the opposite side of where uh, his head is caught. It's Similar to what we saw in round one. Yep. Yeah. He's going to try to do that choke now. Watch. Watch the if left shot. If yeah. doesn't know this, he might get choked out. So he's got to really has to watch out now. So what Boss is trying to tell us to look for is that left shoulder of Rinaldi just digging in as he rises up into the throat of Abanikov. Yeah, and Abanikov, the tighter he holds around the neck, the higher his own shoulder is in his own throat to the other side. And that cut, uh, cuts off that circulation. But you saw Abanikov already defending it as well, so he, he knows the submission. Cut of the left brow of Jordan Rinaldi. Oh, that. That's very a nicely timed there by Abanikov. I love that. And to pull it up against a guy like Rinaldi, who constantly had top position in round number one. That's impressive. And now at this, this is his ground and pound for being in the guard. Should be pretty strong. Armbar attempt. Maybe the best position Abanikov has seen this entire fight here in the second round. Oh, I thought Abanikov would go try for the guillotine there. So, so let's go work. Improve your position. Tired, Jordan. Make him work. Let's yeah, give his hip backwards. Rinaldi. Wow, nice. And Rinaldi just threw a Fodakov off him and got this fight back to its feet. That's a butterfly guard. He, he did it with a butterfly guard, but normally you want to pull your opponent on top of you because then you have to let push less weight to the side. He just did it from a position that is pretty impressive.
spinning back kick. Saw that coming a mile away. Yeah. Really slow no motion there for a lot of guys. Wait, here I come, here I come, here it is. And it looks like Rinaldi may be the more fit fighter now. You see yeah. the mouth coming open for Obanikov and his pace slowing down. And Rinaldi seems pretty fresh and pretty light on his feet still. Nice kick setting up the punch. Yeah, all those punches that he misses take a lot out of you. It is so weird. I always try to find the logic in that. But it is. For some reason it is. You would think if I hit really hard on the back, that would you get more tired. But they say if you miss, and you see this many times, guys who are missing shots, powerful shots, are getting tired faster. Boom, there we go again. So it's Rinaldi with the slam as we approach one minute to go here in round number two. This one's scheduled for three. It's Jordan Rinaldi has top position right now. So Slana Bonikoff trying to find out of this way out his way out of this one. Boss, he looks Rinaldi's going to pull his right leg out. He's going to post on the left leg of Bonikoff. There we go. See, and that goes for Mark. There we have it. Full mount. And now with 45 seconds plus to go in round number two. Rinaldi can do just this, posture up and tee off. Tee off, and maybe if he makes a mistake, Bonikov, he can even go for an armbar. He's got to break that grip by cross-facing his opponent to the side, and now unload. That's it, exactly what he's doing. Bonikov has to eat a few shots, but he finally does get a little bit of relief, but now he's up against the cage, but he's still got 16 seconds to go, and this is a knife. An ideal situation for him. No, Abanikov should start bucking up, exploding up, explode the hips up, make sure Rinaldi loses his balance, and at least that stops him from punching. Well, he does lock him up on this body lock, and we will go to a third and final round. Yeah. Third fight, he wasn't even here. How are you supposed to evaluate me if you don't watch tapes, and then you're not here when I actually am? So here is one more time, and watch this Jordan Rinaldi escape. This is pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, he throws him now, butterfly, picks him to the side. Doom, doom, doom. And it is impressive. Have to say, Abanikov is leaning to the side already. And here's a nice little piece of work on the takedown. Beautiful takedown, and watch, he right away pulls the legs to the side in front of him, and then he ends up in side mount. Watch, pull, and he pushes it to the side, see? Boom. And then he tries to get in half, uh, in side mount. Abanikov was smart to put him in the half guard at least. Right, seconds out, let's go. Let's go. Seconds out, let's go. His opponent is in the half guard. So here we go with the third and final round from Las Vegas, Nevada. Jordan Rinaldi and Soslan Abanikov. Boss, how do you have this one so far as we enter the third round? Well, it, it's, uh, you know, Rinaldi, I think, 2-0 to to zero, to zero right now. And Abanikov looks like he's getting tired. If Rinaldi saw that, or his corner told him that, then he'll put on the pressure. Yes. Oh, wow, but nice he can still hit. <laughs> He's got to watch out with those punches, Rinaldi, because they can't land. Because there's a lot of power behind him. Yep. Bonikov needs to move more to the side. He can't do this because he's going to be taken down again with a double leg. You think it's better for Rinaldi to get him to the ground? No, Rinaldi, I would stay uh, with striking. You know, if those heavy punches he throws, he just needs to connect once. This is, could be trouble because he could be, be taken, taken down again. And once it's on the ground, like this, it's going to be very hard to get back up. If Ronaldo gets it here and he stays busy, wins this fight for sure. 3 to 0. 30-27. He's going to pull the right leg out, see? Nice. Modified scar folds. He's got to watch out because now Ronaldo can push him backwards. But he knows that. He's already shifting his weight forward. 
again now. Abanikov should push him on the chest with both hands. And sit up straight. Uh oh. Oh, if he can lock that foot, he's going to get an inverted triangle there. Look, look at this! Yeah. Look at this! It's a good control. You know, and if he doesn't choke him out with it, he can to go to work with the other arm. He's going to go for an armbar now. You want to talk about some tricky jiu-jitsu oh, box? We're seeing it right here. It's very hard for Abanikov to get out of this. And he better do something. Trying to protect his face with that arm in the process, almost getting choked by the the lock of Jordan Rinaldi, who really just almost just punched himself out there. He was so gassed, he went so hard for that 20 seconds straight. I, I would go, if I was him, would go to work on that arm. Go to work on the arm, grab the inside hand so you control the arm, go maybe for a Kimura. But he's trying to do a straight arm bar yep. by pushing the hand in the neck. There's a little space in between the body. He's tapping, I think. Is he doing it? Yeah. Man, wow. I cannot believe he did not tap. Right in. Going for it again, Rinaldi teen up again. Yeah. He's trying to go for a normal figure four now. Yeah, it's got it. That is it. Wow, beautifully done. Man, what a bad position to be in. Can you imagine? Locked him up. In the end, it's Rinaldi who gets it done. Hats off to Abanakov, boss. Most people, I think, would have tapped about a minute before that. Hey, I think so, too. Wow. Those are some heavy shots, too. Good form. Have a luck. Whatever you want to call it. Americana. With the official decision, we set it inside the cage in Jazz Securo. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to an arm bar at three minutes and two seconds of round number three. Your winner, Jordan Rinaldi. So, so. Yeah. Get ready. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.